it's nice to see everyone joining us today. Today I'm planning, we'll do the seated meditation of heaven heart contemplation. So that said, let's, let's, let's start. My name is Lisa DeReese. I've met you online and in person. Um, some several times before, so I'm excited to be here. I live in Moab, Utah. I have been teaching Shengzhen since 2004. So, um, boy, time goes really fast. But I'm happy to share with you from my heart what I've learned over these years and um, Hope you can feel that same spark of love and light ignite in your heart and soul. So let's begin with the seated meditation, heaven, earth, heart contemplation. Let's begin. I go back and forth between sitting on my cushion and sitting in a chair. I've also found that uh, when I teach this form, to my students, if they're sitting in a chair, it's probably better for me to sit in the chair because the body can move mm, sometimes a little more uh, freely seated from the chair versus seated on a cushion and vice versa. So today I'm on a chair. Be kind to your bodies. Uh, my feet are hip width distanced apart. Feel the feet rooted to the earth. The spine is long. Ready, Songtian movement. Bring the hands up with a breath blow. Left hand up. Down. Left hand rests on top of right, thumbs touch. If this is your first time joining us today, do your best to follow along. First movement. Dragon flying in the clouds. Ready, begin. Inhale up, two. Hands separate. Rock forward, two, one. Two. Celebrating the Chinese New Year, the year of the dragon. I love this form because of the watery flavor. Each movement prepares us for the next. Best to do this movement in a cheerful mood, the whole form in a cheerful mood. If you're familiar with this form, feel free to close your eyes. If you're just beginning, do your best to follow along. Inhale, exhale. First movement has two parts. This is the first part, both hands going forward and back.
preparing to change. One, two, inhale, exhale. One more time. Two. This time change, turn to your left, to the right. Here's that movement that we did in Nourish Harmony. Standing and bouncing, this time we're just seated. Feel your body stable on your seat, your cushion, your chair. Shoulders are relaxed. No need to go fast. One, two, one, two. Last time, other hand comes around. Two more times. One, two. Last time, settle. Second movement, holy dragon, returning to the mountain. Ready, relax the hands as the arms float up. Again, feeling the stability in your body. Holy dragon returning to the mountain is like returning to heaven. Shoulders get tired. Feel the connection as you relax. You can let the hands rest on the lap. Notice. Our bodies will communicate with us. Each movement in this form prepares us for the next. Holy dragon returns to the mountain. Third movement, cloudy mountain going through the mist. We'll go to your right, ready. One, continue. You can inhale, exhale, or follow your feeling and how the breath fits with your movement. Feel the hands full of chi. Relaxed, not forced. The hands Maintain a fairly equal distance apart. Again, feel that watery, soft movement.
One, two, one, two. Last time we'll finish on your left. One, and then change to next movement, transition. Kui air, gazing at the moon. Left hand goes above the head, right goes out. And hold. Standing in the bright moonlight, asking questions of your heart. Feel the arms relax, feel the shoulder relax. Focus on the breath. If the body feels tired, and then change next movement. Ready? Left hand goes behind the head, right comes around. The union of chi with heaven. All of the Shengzhen meditation forms are about returning to oneness. Many of the messages in heaven, earth, heart contemplation refer to that oneness. We come together like a yin-yang transformation. Feel the hands relax. Sometimes it's really easy to press. Sometimes the focus is too strong. Feel the chi flow between the two hands. Sixth movement, holding the lotus and crossing the ocean. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Each hand is holding a lotus like a lantern. Guiding us, leading us. This movement has three parts. This is the first. Continuing with the second part, slowly raise the arms up as though the palms are facing you, shining this divine light on you. Keep relaxing the body. The 
Let the chi help you. And then the third part, sink a little and then push up and out. Like letting your light from within shine out into this world. Believe that each one of you can make a difference with this light from within. Next movement, the shadow from Buddha's light. Ready? Slowly lower the hands, the palms face forward. Again, you can feel this fullness, feel the hands adjust like fine tuning and hold. Feel the chi building in each palm. We can feel the chi in our hands. Usually is the first place to feel it, where it becomes palpable. Everything living has this chi. We practice to remember. Next movement, parting the clouds and seeing the sun. Ready, begin, one, two, three, four, five, six. As though we're pressing down on the kind and beneficial clouds, seeing the sun, Again, you can feel where you might be holding tension in the hands, in these holding postures. Be willing to just adjust. Next movement. <clears throat> Boat traveling in Buddha's ocean will move to your right. Ready, begin. One, two, one, two. On your own. One hand is flexed, the other is relaxed or limp. Traveling through Buddha's oceans, we see the highs and the lows. We're not alone. Each one of us shares knowingly and unknowingly.
the torso feels loose and relaxed. A few more times. You can begin to make the movement smaller. Feel the arms relax. Again, each movement prepares us for the next. Feel the arms settle. Next movement, ready, float the arms up, chin slightly up and hold. Looking to heaven, returning to oneness. And the next movement, continuing, bring the elbows down, then in towards the body. Head looks slightly up and to the left, returning to the ninth level of heaven. Next movement is called Rain Shower of Apricot Blossoms. We're going to shift to your left, extend the arms, and flutter the fingers. This is a movement where you also flutter the toes. It'd be easier to Flutter the toes when you're seated on a cushion cross-legged versus in a chair. Do your best. Feel as though your arms are floating. Feel the movement settle. And then shift the weight to the other side and continue, begin. Rain shower of apricot blossoms. And just when you're about to settle and finish, Change to the next movement. Opening and closing of Bodhi. Like a prayer. Feeling the hands gently open. And come closer. Feel free to close your eyes. Feel as though you're breathing with the universe. Feel the oneness. And finishing. Next movement. Extend the arms. Bring the right hand to the dante and left on top. We're going to go up on your right side. 
down on your left. Chi returns to one. Hands are logo to logo. Like making a circle up on the right, down on the left, around the Dantian. Last time. Feel the hands settle on the Dantian. Next movement, rising and descending. Hands overlap, Lao Gong, on top of Lao Gong. Last time. Bring the hands back down to the Dantian. Settle, close your eyes. Feel the nourishment in your body from the chi we've cultivated together today. May the rest of your day and your evening flow freely. Closing movement, return the hands back to the knees. Gentle inhale, long, slow exhale. And in closing today's practice, we end with the Zongtian movement. Ready, bringing the hands slowly up with the breath low. Your left hand goes up with prayers of gratitude to the heavens to the guidance, to each and every one of us here today. Gratitude for this precious earth we call home. And finish. Thank you, everyone. It's always a pleasure to practice with you on Wednesdays. May the rest of your day or evening, wherever you may be, be full of love and peace. And may the world feel like a better place because we practice together today. Thank you so much.